What's up guys? It's Sunday morning, the day before Cyber Monday, and I am uh, heading to Walmart. It is 8.45 in the a.m. on Sunday. Why am I going to Walmart at this ungodly hour on a Sunday, right before I have to go back to work? Because my buddy Jeremy, who's a local toy hunter, sent me a picture this morning of this. The TMNT Retro Party Wagon. I have been after this damn vehicle for quite some time now, for it seems like a couple months now, three months, something like that. It's been out for a while. I have never seen it in the wild. Jeremy found it at a local Walmart, and he was like, hey dude, it's here. And that was as of an hour and 45 minutes ago. So hopefully, hopefully it's still there. And uh, I'm heading there right now. Mrs. Cincy made fun of me on the way out. She's like, good luck on your toy hunt. Hopefully you find it. Being really sarcastic because I was in a rush to leave the house. Didn't even let Willie out. Poor Willie had to take a pee and a poop. Poop and a pee. And I was like, Tay-Tay, can you let the dog out? Because I got to go freaking find this turtle party wagon, for frick's sake. So she's like, okay. So she, uh, yeah, anyway. So yeah, I'm headed to Walmart. I'll show you what they got. But I'll see you guys around the corner. So uh, Jeremy's picture had one out on the shelves here and I couldn't find it. So I looked at the picture a little closer. I saw that it was near King Kong stuff and uh, look what I found. Bam. Hell freaking yes. You're the man, Jeremy. You are the man. Thank you so much for the heads up. Uh, looks like I got the last one at least that was on the shelf. They actually had two more in uh, shipping boxes on the cart there. Hell freaking yes, I'm so freaking pumped for this. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys back in the nerd bar. I have uh, quite a modern toy haul. Lots of Motu Revelation stuff. What else do I have? Other stuff. Lots of stuff. So uh, stay tuned. I'll see you guys back at the nerd bar. All right, toy haul time. So you saw that I got this. Very, very happy to find this one party wagon. I have no need for the Ultimate Super 7 one. This one will do me just freaking fine. Plus it's like one tenth of the cost of the Ultimates one. That thing is super freaking pricey. Holy frick, that thing's pricey. This, not that bad, not that bad. And uh, I like how it looks. So this one will suffice. All right, so uh, there's a few things that I actually picked up and I already opened them. And I opened them on Toys with the Boys. And what is Toys with the Boys, you might be asking yourself. It is a live stream, a live show that we do on Wednesdays uh, that I do with Dave Wonder and Robo from The Foosh. Uh, we usually just open up toys and talk wrestling and talk toys and talk nonsense, talk dick bullets, stuff like that, stuff like that. Bright white, all kinds of inside jokes. Check it out. Check it out if you have some time. But I opened up a few things. Here is uh, one of the things that I opened up. 
Bam. It is the game, I think this was the GameStop exclusive. I think it's a GameStop exclusive. I got it at GameStop, but it is the Gamerverse Miles Morales Translucent Plastic. Holy crap, holy crap, this thing is amazing. This thing is absolutely amazing. I think it might have cracked my top 10, my top 10 figures of the damn year. Uh, the question came up on Toys with the Boys. What's your favorite Marvel Legend figure of the year? This was one of them. That was one of them. Another one is uh, Surtur, more translucent plastic there. But uh, I have some decisions to make, some uh, decision making for the top 10 figures of the year. And yes, I will be doing a video. That question also came up. So top 10 figures of the year will be done this year, but it will be a tough decision. Here's another one that I opened up on Toys with the Boys. It's Marvel Legends High Evolutionary. He is as I like to refer to him, an X-Men villain. I know he's uh, in the Fantastic Four line, but I think of him in that annual, the Evolutionary War, the annual, X-Men annual, was it annual 12? I think it was annual 12, Arthur Adams? I think so, I think so. 80s kids, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, here's another thing that I opened up on that show, Towards the Boys, Kotal Khan. Mortal Kombat 11, freaking awesome game. Loved that game, loved playing that game, and I loved the little war that these two guys had, Kotal Kahn and Shao Kahn. Bam, look at them, they look great together. Freaking awesome. So those were some uh, new pickups that I had that I already opened up. Here is one that I did not already open up. I got this one on deep discount. One of those Amazon warehouse deals, you ever see those? Uh, for those of you that shop on Amazon, sometimes you'll see something at a very, very low price because it's damaged packaging. This is a three figure set that I had been planning on getting for a long, long time. Uh, it had been around $80. I've been waiting for it to go kind of lower in price. Uh, I think it went as low as 67, but I found it last week for $55. It was an Amazon warehouse deal. It said the packaging was damaged, and damn it, they did not lie. <laughs> because holy crap, this packaging is jacked. It is absolutely jacked, but it is the Tron three pack, more translucent plastic, uh, and it says, thanks to you, this product has a second life. There's Amazon's little sticker there, but yeah. This thing got stepped on. This thing got absolutely destroyed. I mean, it's not even taped anymore, so I'm just gonna take them out. And uh, there's three figures in here, all on card. They will be coming off card, but I just wanna see what kind of condition we're working with here on the actual figures themselves. Because this packaging, while it looks nice, this right here, this right here, bam. That's how we do it, that's trash. That is trash. But uh, let's see how the figures inside look. What the frick is going on here? There's like plastic pieces holding it in place. So you can see the, uh, it's flan, flan, it's flan, yeah, it's flan. It's Flynn, Tron, and Sark. The Tron is all cloudy, like all scratched up. You can see my uh, desktop background there, Inferno. Bam, Madeline Pryor, Scott Summers, Jean Grey. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, there's Flynn and there's Sark. So they're gonna be coming out of package. But uh, yeah, keep an eye out for those deep discounts on good old, not Walmart, Amazon. Why was I thinking Walmart? Holy frick. All right, so uh, we recently went to the great state of OH and uh, we celebrated Christmas number two. Christmas number one, I actually got a, a Sideshow gift card. That was with my mom and my brother. Uh, and I used that Sideshow gift card for a Hot Toys figure, which you will see in an upcoming episode. I'm doing an all import toy haul. Got some imports in. So you'll see that coming up very, very soon. Very soon, because I'm gonna film that right after this one. But anyway, I uh, used that for Christmas number one. Christmas number two, I received this as my present. I also got a GameStop gift card, which I'll be using, obviously. But uh, here was the present that uh, really excited me. Bam, Marvel Lightbox. And I actually tested it out when we were at my in-laws house. And this thing is bright, bright. It is awesome, it looks great. It is glorious. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it up there or I'm thinking about putting it in the nerd bar. So I'm not sure, but it will go someplace very, very cool and it will look very, very awesome. 
It is awesome. It is so freaking cool. And you'll probably see that in a future episode. I'll show you how that looks and where I end up putting it. Uh, it won't be in this episode because quite honestly, I'm still not decided on where it's gonna go. And now we end with some Motu Revelation figures. You saw it in the thumbnail. Uh, this cartoon, season two, blew me away. It was freaking awesome. I liked season one. Season two was even better. So I picked up some, whoa, some figures. Starting with Beast Man. I got Beast Man. Bam. He looks freaking awesome. Got Beast Man. I got good old Duncan. Man at Arms. And there's my desktop again. Here's my other desktop. Inferno, Inferno. Inferno, Inferno. <laughs> There's Man at Arms, looking great. Hopefully we get a, uh, like a modern version of Man at Arms. That was like the classic version. And hopefully we get a classic version of Beast Man. I got uh, Faker, who you saw in episode one, season one. Not the traditional looking uh, blue Faker that we know from the, uh, the toy line, but this is what he looked like in the show. And uh, yeah, it was awesome. I loved his appearance. Very, very cool. And then last, but certainly not least, in this toy haul is Battle Cat. Bam. I had been putting off the purchase of this one for a while. It's 40 bucks, but Target issued a couple uh, coupons. One was 25% off any toy, and bam, came down in price. So I ended up getting this for, it was like 30 bucks, or something like that. He has a giant, giant chunk of plastic. He was awesome in Revelation, especially uh, part two. But I uh, really liked that series, really liked part two, really liked part one. And I really like the figures. I'm really, really enjoying the figures. So that's it guys. That is the end of this video. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Uh, I will see you guys around the corner. Uh, I have more videos to film right now. Uh, I got two Christmases over. I got one more Christmas left. That's when Santa's coming and hopefully bringing some great stuff. But um, I got some time now. Got some time to film some vids. So uh, you will see an import haul. You will see a vintage toy haul with some sealed vintage toys. Very, very awesome. And then I'm gonna film a couple hockey jersey videos. For those of you that are into that kind of stuff, check out more Cincy hockey jersey videos. I got two hockey jersey hauls, um, like seven jerseys total so check that out as well it's a big passion of mine i love hockey and wearing one right now when to pick jets mark shifley but that's it for now i'll see you guys soon and adios my friends